Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. And tip top, good morning everybody. Happy Thursday to you and happy NCAA Tournament Weekend. Round number one, who doesn't love this? Should be great action throughout the day on KHQA CBS and all the CBS affiliated stations. But we're going to start with some baseball last night. John Wood back home and playing pretty well. Taking on Quincy University's JV, however, and the Hawks would jump out first in the top of the first. Drew Diaz rips one right there into the power alley. That double scores a run, makes it one to nothing. Neftali Sanchez for the Blazers would settle in and settle in nicely. And then he'd get some help in the bottom of the first. And that would pretty much extricate him from any further troubles the rest of the day. Pick it up, bottom of the first. Matt Priest leading things off with a little single and with two batters aboard. And a nice pitch to feast on Jalen Poindexter unleashes into the ether in deep left field. Three run jack for that fella. John Wood jumped out three to one early. Never looked back in this ball game. The second day in a row, big time win over the Quincy University JV squad, this time by an 11 to 2 margin. Just across campus, John Wood women taking on Carl Sandberg in a doubleheader. Check out the reaching grab right there by Kristen Luce at third base to kill a threat. Keep this tie game tied at four apiece going into the bottom of the sixth. That's when Haley Hamill, the pride of West Hancock, rips a double to set things up. Addison Upkiss up next, trying to give her team the lead going into the top of the seventh. Puts the ball in play, and sometimes that's all it takes. Very resourceful base running right here by Haley Hamill. She gets a little bit of a help from a throwing air right there, and she comes home to score, giving the Blazers a 5-4 lead at that point. Top of the seventh, runner aboard for Sandberg. Some great defense right behind the plate by Miss Alex, your catcher. Great step by her. Then Rachel Motley with a strikeout. She gets it down to two outs. Her team just one strike, in fact, away from sealing the deal on this one. And Sandberg answers with a two-run home run wah, 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 at that point. But John Wood's still with a chance to try to come back in the bottom of the seventh. They've got the winning and tying run aboard. One out. Sierra Jacquez with the hit. Unfortunately, it is grabbed, turns into a double play, and what could have been glory turns into heartbreak for John Wood as they lose this game by the final count of 6-5, to five, but the Blazers would bounce back and win the second game. 7-6 to spit. Six was your final there. Speaking of John Wood, the men in action against the number one team in the country, Schoolcraft, tonight at 8.30. All your highlights coming up tonight at 10 o'clock from Danville. We'll see you then, everybody.